with heavy industries running at full speed. I mean, concrete factories, electric cables, steel factories, uh, air pollution is going to be a challenge. So what's the answer? Well, it may surprise you, but it's failed producer. Let me dive into that. I'm Stride Gamer, and this is episode six out of seven in our guide to get the gold medal in the new Eden burning scenario from start to finish. We are almost to the end, but still a lot of very important tips in this episode. But before we dive in, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already, so you never miss another episode or a new series. Also remember that below this video, in the description, you can find a link to download this actual save if you want to play along. And lastly, let's do a 10 second recap of what we've done before. Number one, we started by creating a town as quickly as possible by cutting a lot of trees. Then we moved on to our industries with three industry hubs. After that, instead of moving to the first level of the dam as soon as possible, we actually moved to Obreros. Then of course, we started level one of the dam. But at that moment, our focus was already on the next stages, building the necessary factories, like the electric cable factory, the cement factory, and of course the steel factory, as well as increasing our overall number. Now we are in the middle of stage two, and we need to make a couple of critical changes to our city. We've restarted all of our industries, heavy industries, that's going to put a lot of pressure on our air pollution. That's going to be one of the key topics of this episode. But at the same time, we also need to increase our Obreros number, as you see I'm seeing now. The two things. One is we need those Obreros for some of our factories. For example, we need to still build one cement factory. The second is we're going to need 1,500 Obreros for the la last stage. So we need to get to that. One element you may have seen is I don't have the resources yet to build the la last Concrete factory because we need 25 electric cables. This is a key reason why you need to create these cement factories before getting to level 3, because level 3 of the dam also requires electric cables. So if you start it, the, the dam is going to take them all. See that we are indeed a lot in negative, but the good thing is we've basically we basically have all of the resources needed to finish level 2 at this point. It's just about delivering them. That means we can start all of the, oh, we can stop sorry all of the tools factory because they require they give us a lot of negative on our pollution but they also require iron which we need for other things like our steel factory. The same time we're still obviously keeping with all of our non-polluting elements and we are going to build new ones. Which one? The fell producer. Why this one? You ask. Well, this only costs ten journal arrows to run it, it requires one alpaca farm, or actually it requires half an alpaca farm thanks to the um, silo. When you have a silo, you can have two fell producers for one. And um, an alpaca farm is also only 10 generals. That's 20 generals only to run this. It does impact a bit your water quality, but then for the water quality, we have the purifier, right? Which give a plus 30 bonus on uh, on the water quality so you can run number of these with just one or two purifiers and then each of your fell producer for example here i've built three i don't have the resources yet because it it does require um three timber and two um bricks to to run it will give us a plus three bonus on the air quality so you know if we have Five, for example, that's plus 15. That's non-negligible. And it really also doesn't take a lot of space. So in, inside your trade union for non-political items, you can put a few of these. So we are ladies and gentlemen, that's how one of the elements on how we're going to battle the air quality impact of our heavy industries. We are below the 70 mark, so we're getting some of those quests can either decrease the productivity, increase the workforce needed. And I, I chose that one because I can stop those foresters, right, uh, if needed. Also because I knew that I was getting more workforce of Genaro soon, given that um, the generator is almost finished. But before the generator is finished, I'm just focusing on stopping a few of the 
farms, uh, fisheries, sorry, as you've seen, still definitely have time. We're at close to the one hour mark, but one of our cement factories has already been working for quite a long time. And now the second one is there. So we are technically ready for the last stage. We have our two cement factory or two electric cable factories running at full speed. So we're good on that point, but you'll see that later in this episode, other things will happen that I hadn't counted on. We are getting close to having all of the bricks we need because we don't need that many bricks. We don't need bricks for the last stage of the dam. We have enough to um, for this stage. So now you just need the number of bricks needed to build things if you want to build things, right? Um, so I can stop those brick factories for now. This is giving me, of course, journal errors, but also helping on my hair quality, but it's still not enough. So I'm building a few more felt producer, make sure they are in the range of your trade union, of course. So we're on minus six, I just placed two new felt producers. So when they get to 100% productivity, they should uh, put me back into, into zero. You, know, you have to remember that the, you only get the bonus if those felt producers are actually working. And if they're not working at 100%, for example, you actually get less, you don't get three, you get two or one, for example. We are missing a bit of uh, alpaca and we have at the bottom a big problem. We have illness. We don't have a hospital at this point. I'm also going to be, uh, be wondering where to put the hospital because I don't see a lot of space in the city. I didn't plan well for that, so make sure you do plan for it. Deleting a few journal errors because it's obviously less than less taxing than operators at this point in the game. One key reason why you want to avoid illness is not just because um, it's a red, you know, icon is because it, it takes out workforce. You know, people that are here don't work. So that's why I'm in negative right now in my overall population workforce. On top of that, you know, it also spreads. If you don't have any hospital, it will just spread uh, basically to your whole city, also destroy those houses at some point. So you do want to make sure you have at least one hospital covering most of your population. Like we said, in a previous episode, you want a better fire station covering this your heavy industries. You need to wait a bit, one minute for to be able to use this option to uh, get more doctors on the road. So I did that. Now I'm a lot less worried. I think they will cover it without any issues. We are now finally back into positive for hair pollution. And two more alpaca farms to make sure we stay in that positive range. And I can also restart what needs to be restarted. For example, a brick factory. Okay, the illness is almost cleared. I don't have a lot of wood at timber at this point, so, so that all over the playthrough we cutted a lot of trees, we had a lot of timber production, but still that's not enough. Do remember to keep some, even if you feel like you have a lot, it won't be enough. more backup farms you have. Also, you need a couple of crop farms here and there for the silos. Really not that much, but you can see uh, we have 24 for the alpaca at this point. So we have a lot of felt. But now we're definitely in positive, going back to 100% or at least 80%. Remember that if you want gold, you actually do need to finish with above that exclamation mark. One of our iron factories was depleted, so we replenished it. Remember last episode we created 
um, some of the dynamite. Taking a look at some of the items, see if one makes sense. But at this point, you know, my city is well on, on track. Here we now we have a quest for soil and I choose pesticide use because I know it's giving me a minus 10, which is totally fine given how high we are on that uh, eco balance. So all in all, we are up everywhere. Oh, we see that we are missing a bit of fish. We need to be careful about this. But we do have quite a bit of reserve, almost 100 fish. So at this point, not the end of the world. We are in positive workforce everywhere, slightly positive on, on all the eco balances. And four minutes left on the second phase of the dam. Definitely get to the third phase. We have a bit more than 45 minutes, so a lot of a 15 minutes per fur uh, for, for phase three. You can see 100 per minute on the soil. It's a really an easy one to manage. I've restarted my second aqua purifier, which will put the water one way above zero. You see that our production also of electric cables and cement has increased for almost at 50 of each. And the generator is also almost finished with only 12 minutes left on the clock. And that will give us a lot of resources also useful for the third stage. So far, so good. I mean, we survived the illness. We've survived the very low air echo balance. Thanks to our fellow producers. If you have any questions, thoughts, don't hesitate to share in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it before we get to the final episode of this series. Almost there for the final page. 20 seconds left. And here we are, ladies and gents. Second stage finished. Let's uh, start the third. We're good on steel. We need to sort of double the electric cable and cement and have a bit more obrero. So that will be the key thing in the next episode. Don't hesitate to press the like button if you did enjoy this episode or learn a few things. And I hope to see you next time.